Welcome everyone to this lecture by Learn Civil Engineering, where we will be learning about absolute pressure and gorge pressure, finishing with an example problem to test our understanding. There are two scales that are widely used for measuring or expressing pressure. Absolute pressure is a pressure that is relative to the pressure of a perfect vacuum, which is known as absolute zero. That is, an absolute pressure is a measurement of how much the pressure is above absolute zero. Secondly, gorge pressure is a pressure that is relative to atmospheric pressure, PA. That is, a gorge pressure is a measurement of how much the pressure is above or below atmospheric pressure. Absolute pressure and gorge pressure are related by absolute pressure equals gorge pressure plus atmospheric pressure where absolute pressure must be greater than or equal to zero and gorge pressure must be greater than or equal to minus PA. For example, in a perfect vacuum where absolute pressure is equal to zero, using the relation of gorge pressure equals absolute pressure minus atmospheric pressure, the gorge pressure is equal to zero minus the atmospheric pressure of 101 kilopascals. So the gorge pressure is equal to minus 101 kilopascals in a perfect vacuum. Let's see how we can apply this to an example problem then. A vertical open mine shaft of depth H0 equals 0.75 kilometers is flooded with seawater of density rho equals 1025 kilograms per meter cubed. Find the gorge pressure at the bottom of the mine shaft and write your answer in terms of standard atmospheres. Pause the video here and attempt this question for yourself. Now that you've had a chance to attempt it, let's work through the solution. First of all, let h denote the vertical depth with h equals naught corresponding to the water's free surface. Here we use dp by dh equals rho g with the boundary condition p equals naught at h equals naught. Note that for absolute pressure, the boundary condition would be P equals PA at H equals naught. Then integrating this equation gives the derivative of DP divided by DH with respect to DH, which is equal to the derivation of rho G with respect to DH, which gives us the pressure at the point H is equal to rho GH plus some constant K. Applying the boundary condition of P equals naught at H equals naught gives K equals naught. Therefore, the required gorge pressure distribution is the pressure at point H is equal to rho GH for H is greater than or equal to zero, but less than or equal to H naught. We will now use this to find the gorge pressure at the base of the flooded mine shaft. Substituting H equals H naught which equals 750 meters, and rho equals 1025 kilograms per meter cubed, gives P equals 1025 times by 9.81 times by 750, which is equal to 7.54 times 10 to the power of 6 newtons per meter squared. And then, in terms of standard atmospheres, recalling that one atmosphere is equal to 101,325 newtons per meter squared. This is P equals 7.54 times 10 to the power of 6 divided by 101,325, which is equal to 74.4 standard atmospheres. Well done then if you got the correct solution to that problem. And if not, then I hope having gone through the solution, you have a better understanding now. This has been a lecture by Learn Civil Engineering. If you have found this lecture useful at all, please show support by subscribing to the channel and leaving a like on the video. If you do have any remaining questions or would like me to cover a specific topic, please leave them in the comment section below and I will try to respond as soon as possible. Thank you for watching.